sooner than planned. Here we are in the final. Let's play. We're quite good at this drawing, drawing malarkey. Yeah, so let's lacerate her into brigand. Presumably inspires, meaning something can't block, so we're in for six damage. So we're down to 14 to start with. Hmm. Unless he, like, burst lightnings this. Which is what he's going to do, but now he's thinking about it. Oh, no, he's not. My god. Tap, bro, go for it. His opponent's playing a quick red deck. Our worst nightmare. Actually, it's not our worst nightmare, seeing as most of our creatures ping his to death. Hmm. Let's just play this. Swing for two. So we can't block, so we can go down to 17. Drawing an untapped red source would be kind of good here. We could expedition into Battle Singer. Opponent does not attack. I assume he forgot that he couldn't block, because I doubt he's doing any blocking. So it's Expedition, just for shiggles. I think Expedition is probably going to be quite good against a red deck, right? I don't know if there are any combat tricks that work here, so let's just say this can't block. Always yes. Get him down to 16. No, 14. I can't math. Next time I assume we swing with everything, including the Battle Singer, unless he's got... Oh, well that's pretty good, but we'll just punish and fire it. So it's actually not that good. But, you know, it was close to being good for a while. Is he going to leave it back? If he leaves it back, then he's going to get blown out. He's going to be blown out with it anyway, but this way he could get for 4 damage. Nope. Oh, this is pretty brutal. Does opponent concede now? Beautiful, beautiful. So swinging for a lot. He's down to six. And we've got Slaughter Cry Lethal next turn. Why can't I get why can't I get matches like this off stream? Or recording. Why do I have to record for this? Yeah, so he's not playing anything, but he's not conceding. So let's just attack and see what's what. We've got the slaughter cry for the win. Hmm. Opponent just got big balls. I don't concede. <laughs> okay, so we want things to interact with her. I'm assuming he's mono red. He might just have been no. He's playing mono red. If he's playing that. First strike thing, he must be mono red. So, I think Vampire's Bite probably comes in. The lifelink's probably quite good. I mean, what a shit card, right? But in this format, lifelink's presumably just grand. I mean, these things are very expensive. But it's still a strong card. What can we take out? Well, everything seems great. This actually is a pretty good deck. <laughs> I say I saw myself. We could get rid of the expedition. I don't know how likely it is that creatures are to... Well, creatures are going to die. I don't know what's more important as getting them back or gaining life and not dying and maybe getting through some burst. I think I'm going to take out the expedition and play the bite. The feeling the bite is more important here. This bark didn't seem particularly scary. Ooh, you know what? I think I'm going to have to keep with a... We'll basically mold with a Nighthawk, but if his deck is as one drop heavy as we think, the Spot Mage is just insane. I imagine the Spark Mage is one of our key cards in this matchup. 
Uh, he's red black too. Good draw, good draw. Okay, play a Suricar Marauder a turn late. Yeah, he's too smart for us. So we're probably going to spark me. Well, hopefully we just draw black. This doesn't use the mana particularly well, but I want to try and get him with a spark mage. And this does more damage immediately anyway. And the spark mage is not going to get him if we play the spark mage. The mystery of opponent's lack of plays last game is suddenly revealed. He's going to get him for two, and then play a one power creature. Come on, opponent. Nah, not the case. Shatter School Giant. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to leave up Slaughter Cry, I think. Could be very costly. But I don't want to just play a Spark Mage here because he gets in for 6 and takes it down to 10. And I don't think there's any real way back from that. Well, we're going to have to risk it. Risk it for a biscuit, as they say. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that. Let's see if it works. One doubts that it will. It did not. And I still think we have to risk it. It's not over yet if we draw black. Even if we draw that, we can just play this. And then we can eventually, we can magma rift the Shatter Skull next turn. And double red and double black is quite a difficult mana base to maintain. So I can see why he lost the first game. If he's got the first strike thing here, we're just in a world of hurt. If he hasn't, we might be able to stabilize, especially if we draw a black. So we could go Nighthawk, kill the Shaft Skull. Also, as an aside, we've yet to show the Cunning Spark Mage, which I suppose if, it's, if it seems like there's no way we can win the game, it's probably good because he's not going to be playing around a pinger if we haven't shown him a pinger. This seems bad. That's bad. Uh, we're not dead, but we're close. Well, if we draw Black Souls, we're, we're okay. Otherwise, we're quite close to dead. Black Souls. Black Source, ladies and gents. Let's play the Nighthawk. Let's kill this. Intra next a line we've got next turn if he doesn't attack is to Hex Mage. Potentially if we need to sack it to get rid of the counter on the skitter and spark mage it. Seems like a, a weird play though, and we're just dead to any removal. Problem hideous end. We're probably dead to this six mana spell, so I'll just get ready to concede. Yeah, we're most likely dead to that. So opponent's playing big red things instead of small red things. And then may as well see what he discards. He has got a 41 card deck as well, which is never right. Maybe he thinks a land's red? Let's see. Molten Ravager. I don't really like opponent's mana base here. I can see why he's having problems, why he had problems. He didn't have any problems that game. So I think I was definitely right to get in the bite. We probably want some... I mean, graveyard Recursion might be better than... Uh, better than what, though? Maybe it's not. 
Maybe better than kite sail. I don't think flying is particularly relevant here. Let's get in the expedition. Just to recur the creatures. Let's run it back. It's a sketchy keep from us, but I misread his deck. Let's see if we can get a bit luckier. Oof. Sure. His deck was slower than I gave it credit for, so I don't feel too bad about keeping a hand like this. Obviously, we need an early black spell or red mana pretty prompto. It's a shaky keep, but if it gets there, it gets there majorly. Mm, it's one of the worst draws in the deck. So drawing red now would be pretty insane, especially if he drops a Sorokar Marauder or some shiz like that. He does not. Perhaps played this game before. Yeah, well, e by gum. No, I hope we don't lose to this guy with his mana base as is. Ours is pretty good comparatively. Molten Ravager. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I mean, it was close. I still think it was just about to keep this hand. But I fear my ability to lose the finals may be continuing here. Well, we can't block, but would we want to anyway? It's just going to punishing fire it or something? Not punishing fire, the. Oh, that's okay. Inferno traps, what I'm thinking of. Not a black mana, please. Anything but a black mana. <laughs> well, I suppose I asked for it, didn't I? If the game goes long, they were getting recursion with the Soul Star, which we can start getting online next turn. We drain him for two. We get a 4 4. Yes. We're not attacking. Actually, we probably should. Yeah, it's probably a little loose. I'm hoping we pick up a red source and everything looks fine and diddly. Opponents need to be splashing black for hideous end. Well, our opponents got there with his mana. I'm just going to block with the Diabolus. We've got no more allies in hand and this gets us something to get back from the graveyard. Surviving. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That's pretty good. I suppose we have to start getting in here. If he wants to use his mana to pull, pump Molten Ravager, so be it. And let's play the Spark Mage to get Hideous End. Did. Better late than never. Opponent gets in for a lot of damage. Potentially seven. Uh, he wants to play Chandra, does he? Yeah, he's pretty gross. Not as bad at all. Kazool Wall is an interesting one. And we've got to attack. We're attacking for six. I mean, he can stop us blocking. We can chump with the Spark Mage if we need to. This is a big attack. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, also next turn if we if we don't die and we hit a land, then we've got the Diabolist ping in for three. There's every chance we could die though. 
I'm gonna have to chump this time for show. Land him. Hideous end kind of wrecks us as well. Yeah, we could just take seven here. Gets us an extra ping. What do we die to? Nothing I can think of. I think we take seven. As long as we're not falling to four. Oh, that's okay. He's got three red up. Can do both here. Oh, what am I saying? We win, right? I think. So we attack with the Spark Mage. He hasn't got anything, but why is he tapped for black? He could easily have red, red, red something. Oh, it's the Molten Ravager activations. So I think we just win, right? So let's play the land. If he's got nothing, we have got lethal. Get back to the Abolist. Draining for three exactly, I believe. Here goes nothing. One time, one time, one time. Oops, actually, in the attack with the O1. Have we got it? Yes! Genuinely really happy. That's my first World Wake victory. It took me a while to see the line uh, because I forgot that I could attack for some reason. But alas, we managed to win it. P flawless victory. Really good game, actually. Oh, teaching Feast would have been a sick draw at some point. Yeah, really good game. Really close. Opponent had a greedy mana base, but had really good mono red cards and some black stuff. Like that, that's crap. Well, feeling pretty good about that, so it seems I only have record drafts and uh, upload them that I win. Ooh. I'll try and lose more in future. For now, I've been Greg. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions, please post in the comments. Happy to answer. Please feel free to watch on Twitch. Link provided. I'll probably do some more drafts, upload them. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll do one now, upload it tomorrow. Who knows? But what a great time was had by all. Thanks for watching. See you all very soon. Ta-da!